Right, right. We moved everything overnight and we didn't tell our members. We did thousand square foot facility with uh, seven bathrooms. So for adult day, that there was no guidance yeah. uh, when the pandemic hit. So I was reaching out to the state, local agency, and say, look, we're not an assisted living. Well, what do we right, do? Right, right. Oh, we have no guidance for you yeah, guys. Yeah. Can you type something up? <laughs>what's going on everyone today we are on the carepreneur show with the one and only yanni gonzalez from southwest or not southwest florida but south florida, south florida. Uh, but we're here in baltimore today at the nadza conference and uh i i love you know, yanni's like my partner in crime we always joke like the lord of the rings like he's he's the king of the uh of the south and the king of the north <laughs> so uh well, don't take that to heart too much. <laughs> <laughs> but um the, the cool part about it is that you know for those that don't know um I, I really look up to what yanni's doing in south florida and how passionate he is about the adult daycare industry and i definitely want you know you all to just hear his story how he got into it what he's doing now and what his plans are for the future because he's uh he's done a lot in the state of florida to really help out the adult daycare centers there so uh that being said, Yanni, thank you for joining me, man. I, I, I could say the same thing about you. You're extremely passionate about the industry. Well, that's, I mean, that's, why, we, that's why we like, you know, yeah. we connect, man. Yeah, you yeah, know? It is why we connect, and uh, I love your passion and your drive and, and the work and the effort you put into it. So I appreciate we're it, on I appreciate the same it. boat, so we have the same respect for yeah, each other. Yeah, that's awesome, man. I love it. How did I get into adult day? Um, so, uh, yeah, like I said, I went to school for healthcare administration. I actually went to school for nursing, and I, it wasn't for me. Right. So I switched up to healthcare administration. Uh, I got a minor in uh, IT, right. information technology. Uh, I worked for several hospitals uh, in the uh, Palm Beach and Miami-Dade area for a few years, and then I started working for this company called Royal Wound Physicians. And what they do is uh, they're the nation's largest uh, wound care. Uh, so they go to nursing homes and they take care of the, the people in nursing homes. So it, like a, a kind of like a traveling or like a, like a ro like I mean it wasn't traveling. It was mobile? local. Okay. But I got to go. I, I, what I was doing for them is the um, a lot of the billing, right? Okay. So I got into the billing department, and then I, from that I went to the IT liaison department, and I, I got to, s to see the whole company, and, and through that I got to go into nursing homes with their doctors. Got it. And as you know, you, yeah, you, you've yeah, been yeah, to yeah. a nursing it's home, it's right? It's yeah, it's, it's, it's just depressing, man. It's yeah. like yeah. it's not the best place to be at. Right. Um, right. So I sa I started looking into options. You know what what's out there that could prevent nursing home placement that could prevent hospitalizations. And, and back in 2012, uh, there, was, there was a few programs around, but it wasn't too many of them. I mean, the concept, I mean, today's world, the concept is not even oh yeah, known. It's, yeah, I know. It's, 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 it's still a, like a little secret, you know, hidden gem. Yeah, you know, exactly. So yeah, yeah. And we were actually just talking about that in the uh, marketing roundtable. That yeah, the one that I didn't attend. Yeah, yeah thank no, you for coming. I, I, I expected you. Dude I, was, uh, dude, I was so mad when... when uh, the name was on the fly. I, I wasn't paying attention to the name. I, you know, I, I didn't... I, I, I was know. hoping you to come to those doors. I you're, <laughs> you're a mar marketing guru here. I know, that's that's what I'm saying. I, that's I was gonna go to it, and honestly, the only reason I didn't because that, uh, yeah, yeah, if, if I would have seen if I would have seen your name, I would have been there in a heartbeat. You were probably doing something else here. Yeah, right? yeah. We, I, I was learning how to. I was learning how to lobby. So you know, yeah, we need you know, that. So in I, I'll give you that. Up next, know. we need that in Florida. Up next. Yeah. So um, through that, you know, I, I saw the the adult daycare world. I, right. I, I did some research about it. And you know, we started our program in, in Palm Beach. Uh, there was, I think, two or three programs around that even right. that. They're all uh, nonprofit. Right. Um, we started with 2,500 square feet. Okay. Um, and we started right. And what, and what year was this? 2012. Gotcha. So now, at this point in time, are you still working your other job? No. I okay. I totally left. So it's like, so, I so I like at this point, like, like you were like, hey, I'm I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go attempt I'm to gonna start this I'm gonna adult daycare. Go in head first. Right. Right. So right. I, I left. But had you ever had like an entrepreneurial gene before, or was that like? I did. I did. Uh, you know, I, I've learned a lot from my father, and you know, he he um, instilled that in me. Yeah. Where he was always always a businessman, and right. he always had his own companies and stuff like that. So when I looked at the opportunity, I said, like, this is the, the world that I love. You know, yeah, adult yeah, day. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Not adult day because I didn't know about the right, adult day, right. but it's the healthcare world. Sure. And I like the administrative side of it. Yep. But. I got into maybe go into like five, six, seven nursing homes, and it's just extremely yeah. depressing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. when the idea came about, and we were like, oh, yeah, let's do it, and uh, we did it. I mean, I'm gonna ask you a question. Like, uh, when when you say your life story, yeah. or somebody asks you about you, yeah. how would you did would you know? So a lot of people say, 
oh, I got, I, I had twenty dollars in my bank account, and now I'm a multi-millionaire, right? And you know, I did it all on my own. W would that be your same life story? No. No, right? Yeah, no. Why? Well, what would you change from that sentence? I mean, I, I, like, I mean, I, 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 to me, I still feel like the the day that I like, like, I, I, I the, the the day that I s finally realized the impact that like the adult daycare was having on ha that, like having on people, like seeing Mrs. Smith like all of a sudden like you know go home and start having conversations with her family again, seeing like her all of a sudden being able to get in and out of a vehicle easier or or participate in activities easier or just the family being like this has been the greatest thing I've ever, ever yeah. for mom. Like, like, like she's like uh, this, she's, that, uh, we haven't seen mom, this, this version of mom in 10 years. Like that kind of, I'm getting chills thinking about it. Like yeah. that was like, dude, I love this. Like you were hooked. I was like, I'm, I'm obsessed. You know, that, that, like I joke with Dre, like I could talk about it all day here all day. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. sick and tired of hearing but my it stories. But it hooks <laughs> a lot of people in. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. that you have to have the time and you have to have right. the, the measures. But uh, going back to what I was saying is that a lot of people just sit up there and say, look, I, yeah. I, I did it all on my own. Right. And I think that nobody does anything on their own. Oh, yeah. Right. We all need help. 100%. Right? We all need assistance. We all come to each other for help. Like, how right. many times have we spoken about, like, right. how do we do this? How Especially do when COVID this? happened. It was like, yeah. yeah. I was like, like, what are you doing on your side? What yeah. am I doing on my side? So we went back and forth. And, and I just hate people that come up here or anywhere and say, yeah. I did it on my own. Well, right? and, and, and yeah, because like all of us have, like, you know, this. Not only are we here helping each other, but there's also this incredible team at home, taking care of our place and and, and yeah, making this experience that's, that's for it, for people. You know, that's so why we can be here too. 100, right? especially 100%. with with the the work shortage out, out there now. 100. percent I've, 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 I've never been more like like thankful for the people that we currently have, and you know because it's like there's no way we could do it without that we want to take care of them we want to definitely take them so so we started 2012 uh that's right when uh, uh in florida it, it it went into managed care right so prior to that it was all you know bill medicaid free like so service. 2011 it was mca yeah so right there wow but it, it turned right into like you're like starting and all of a sudden started, like 50 percent pay cut yeah so <laughs> that's crazy um i remember the first six seven months of us opening um our center was packed yeah Wow. Not one reimbursement. We didn't oh. know how to do it. We didn't know how to get reimbursed. Oh, we so didn't uh, know how to navigate all oh these things. God, we didn't have no assistance. <laughs> right. And the association in Florida was uh, very small. And uh, yeah. I, I maybe didn't look at those tools before I even started because I jumped right. in head first. Right. Right. And we were helping out 30 to 40 members at a small center, which is almost a capacity. But we were getting no reimbursement. So we wow. were figuring out in these six, seven months, how do we get reimbursement for the members that we already yeah. have, right? Yeah, yeah. And it took us a good year to figure this yeah, out. So I just did that with home care. <laughs> you did it? Yeah. <laughs> so you have the same experience. I have, I have about $70,000 in accounts receivable right now. Same <laughs> like thing. And, and it's, it, it's scaring the hell out of me. We used I'm like to look at our AR and we're like, we got to a point like, this is going nowhere. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. we're going to have to close. I mean, yeah. all life savings were gone. Everything was gone. Yeah. I was traveling like crazy, working 16 hour days yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, I yeah. and i had a my first child at that time my, oh my, my gosh, first girl God. like so i could barely see her yeah i and you want to enjoy those times with your family yeah. I, think, I think family is is the best thing ever and, yeah. and sometimes we get caught up in work and we especially forget about our kids you know no, we forget yeah, about our wives I mean, and especially as especially as like you know entrepreneurial spirited folks i mean like it's because you have that in you it's, you a, it's an addiction man it's world, like 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 to me, to me, the workplace is my addiction, you know, and it, and so it, it's hard because like I gotta like you know it's like sometimes I gotta be pulled off of that. <laughs> I'm an addict, man. You gotta <laughs> remind yeah, yourself, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. listen, I have a right. family back home. And they so need me. They need me. So yeah. once we figure that out, I mean, it was it was a lot of hard work through it. Like whoever tells you, look, I I I, I got to this place without working hard. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not telling you the truth. It's a lot of hours, even today, like for yourself, you know, you, you would say you still put 12, 12 hours oh, days, yeah, 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 right? I'm like 12 to 14. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's the same for us. And, and we're established, right? We're both of yeah. our followers have been established for a while in Florida. So even with our program established, we're still putting in the work. Right. So I, I come across a lot of people also that say, look, uh, I want to be successful. Right. But are you putting in the time to be successful, right? Right. right what are right. you doing to be successful? What right. do you think is going to land from the sky? Do you right. right? Yeah. Money doesn't grow on trees, know, right? So it's I like know. it's like uh, I think sometimes it's, 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 it's some of this other stuff that happens in in the internet world of things that like kind of creates an illusion, you yeah, know. And, and, and it might be it might be like you, you get comfortable, you get lucky, and then and then you kind of like get this like false sense of 
social yeah, media yeah, is a yeah, double yeah, sword yeah. and you know d like for example they see you now in this podcast and, right. and they're like oh chris look he's awesome he has all the time in the world to do this right but they don't see the work that goes behind the, no the scene right we, tr we try we try we try to help people see that but like what time is it yeah i know it's uh what five five yeah five what have you been doing all day <laughs> i know my brain's <laughs> fried man. Know. we're both fried here know, just we get out of a session we're like 20 or 30 people yeah and we're totally fried but we keep at it because it's yeah. a passion that we have and and that's how passions work but there's a lot of people that have passions but they don't follow through exactly right yeah, yeah and that's one thing that i respect you a lot because you follow through and you're always always on well, top of 80 percent of things yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's well like we always have that i know, 20%. I know. It's, it's, <laughs> it's it's just there's so much on your plate it's, uh, you know what's that it's not it's not that i don't follow through it's that it just it got, i forgot like or, or or it wasn't on my list. Yeah. Or, or I'm saying someone gives you the idea, I didn't write it down. You if didn't I didn't write it down. If I didn't yeah. write it down, like there's no. There's it's important like for us yeah. to visualize, yeah. right? Yeah. Have yeah. a board and say, look, this is the goals yeah. that we have, and here's how we're gonna get to right. them right. in the next six, seven and months. And the thing is, it's like, yeah, if I can just hit 80 percent of those goals, like you know, yeah, exactly. it's like yeah, like exactly. that's that's what I'm just trying to get. But to. you're yeah. keeping count. Like you're actually 100%. you're actually um, looking at yourself and 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 kind of saying, analyzing your team and yourself. You right. know, what can we do to get better? Or uh, you know, what's the next step for our company to get to where we want to be? And so, so I like to kind of like because because I, I, I want to get to where you are now because like it, it is a, a, a pretty large jump. Yeah. You know. So like yeah. So how 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 did like so you're at 2,500 square feet? Like you're like you're like a year behind in billing. <laughs> you know, like everything's on the line. So like, look, how did you go from that then to that next step? So we finally figured it out. You know, and we started getting contracts with the MCO because the MCOs right. were uh, literally all right, over. So that was new too. Was not, new. not only for you, but for them. Yeah, that was right. Yeah, right. that was right, new right, for right, them right, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then when we figured that out, we uh, there was definitely a need, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, our members need these services like they need water. Right. Right. And this right. is. It, uh, I'm totally asking you, is, it, is that a lie? I t do I totally, no, because to me, it's like medicine. Like, so like if, you got, if you got Parkinson's disease, right, you need that medicine four times a day, and it has to be on the dot. Like, it, does, it can't be part of that plus or minus an hour. Like, Parkinson's disease medicine needs to be right on that. That's what this, to me, is I'm the gonna, same thing. I'm going to tell you guys a quick story. I'm not going to say any names because of HIPAA. Yeah. But when we closed it to COVID, right, we had many of the families were calling us, hey, when yeah. are you guys opening? But right. I had one family of, the, of this one particular member that, wouldn't wouldn't miss a day at the center, right? For anything, right? Yeah, for, yeah. for nothing. Um, so I get a call on Sunday, and I see this her name on Sunday. I'm like, weird, she's calling me on Sunday, right? Our centers are closed, and we've been closed for three months now, or something like that. We actually stayed open for the beginning of the pandemic, and then we closed because in Florida it was no, you know, they right. didn't even make us close. Um, I get a call on Sunday, and this member has been out of the program already for two months. Right. Um, so they want to come back, right? We yeah. were like literally just. We're thinking about closing, right? Um, oh, they want to come back, and she calls me crying, like literally crying, 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 crying. Like, like you know, what's wrong? What, what's happening? You know, dad passed away. Yeah. And the first thing that came out of her mouth is, "I killed them." I was like, wow. "Why? Why you killed them?" I said, wow. "I made the decision to take dad out of your center," and from that moment on, I, I get chills. So from I that get, moment, chills, from yeah. that moment on, dad was yeah. depressed in a corner. He wouldn't talk to anyone. He wouldn't, yeah. and he had all the daughters with him. He had yeah. his wife with him. Yeah. So this is a person that actually yeah. has company. Yeah. But he was independent in the center, and yeah. this is what he people he don't he get. Gave him life, dude. See, like this is where I think, like, like, can you imagine being like 90 years old, right? And you've lost all your friends. Okay. So you have no friends anymore. You can't drive. You don't control your finances. You have like you literally wake up in the morning. Like, I'm thinking like like if I was in that position like. Oh, the hell with it. I'm done. Yeah, I, exactly. I, 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 like life is over. Like this, like that, like, like now I'm just existing, and I, I don't want to exist. Exactly. You know, like you I'm, I, I take me out of this. You want to have know? a purpose. Yeah, and so like that's what that's, this, this place it gives people a, purpose. a sense of purpose. Exactly. It gives them a whole. It, I, it's like a whole new lease on life for that person that's in that 85, 90 year old. You know, or, or, you know. You but if you're not in this world, yeah, you don't yeah. see it like we do. I know. I know. Uh, we don't see the changes that we make yeah. in people's lives like we do. We have a lot of people think, oh, it's a babysitting center. Oh, it's no, no, totally no. the opposite. Of that. It's, 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 a, it's like li literally giving people life. Like it's yeah. So so that was a quick story. So how do we got into 10,000 square feet? So we, we started growing uh, fast, right? And we were in the process of looking for a facility. So like, a, like are you, is this a year in or two years No, in? this is three and a half years in okay, or so four years So three in. and a half years in, you're like, you're like packed at 2,500 square feet, right? 
Yeah, we and could like what's packed? Like like what's an average day look like? Our average day su- daily census was about sixty. 60 members at the small in a, in a 2500 yeah, square foot small facility. That's that's our capacity. That's I mean, like we couldn't we couldn't go any mother I don't think everyone's like standing up like this. That was insane. <laughs> we had two bathrooms in that facility. Imagine, oh my gosh, imagine. Bro. So <laughs> one kitchen, one yeah, yeah. bathroom. This is a crazy. I know we learned that with word. like 40 with 45 people and like just three bathrooms. We're like, oh my gosh, like, crazy. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. but no, you got no, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we we we. S- even with those hectic times, they loved attending the center, right? Yeah. They were all cramped up next to each other, but they loved being there because yeah. they, yeah. they had a sense of yeah, purpose. Fun. They had yeah. friends. They had yeah, friends. They could see their friends. That's why I love it on Sunday when the, when I hear stories and like families are like, yeah, th- you know, they get they get ready Sunday morning and I have to like go remind them, like, hey, you know, hey mom, it's Sunday, yeah, <laughs> you know, <Sunday. laughs> like, and they're like, ah, oh, like yeah, yeah, it yeah. happens to us yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. They have they have yeah. a purpose. So, um, we started looking into new facilities. We yeah. we we. we so around the area that we are at, we, we, we definitely want to stay around the area. Yeah. Um, we found this lovely facility, 10,000 square foot facility, um, high ceilings, uh, patio, like everything that we actually needed. Yeah. Um, but the village that we found the location at w- was a mission to get this thing open. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there was no adult daycare uh, requisites or anything in the, in the city. Gotcha. It's all child care. From a zoning standpoint. Zoning, yeah, yeah, yeah. zoning. So it's all child care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like they, they don't even know what to do. They yeah, don't even yeah. know what to do. Yeah. So we had to go through the whole process of, you know, standing in front of the, the whole uh, town hall meeting, presenting our you know, what our what our what our center was gonna be, yeah, yeah. Um, getting approved by the board, um, presenting Just a plan to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. We had to work with a land developer. Oh my god. So this took literally forever. Like yeah. our lease was expiring at that location. So a landlord, we had, we had a year to move, and we started the process on the other one. The other one was finished within a year. It took us yeah. a year and something, and our lease was over. But Aka wouldn't give us a license. Oh my god! They gosh. would, they would, they took literally two months, and our landlord wanted us out like right away because yeah, yeah. because they had another you know center or another um, business that was coming in, right? And they needed the space. Right. Um, this is a funny story. So Aka wouldn't, like, the local Aka office wouldn't give us the, the, the license. So I, I, I said, let's get in the car. We're going to Tallahassee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to knock on their door. We're yeah, going to knock on the door. We're going to go visit them in I prison. showed up yeah. there and the lady, I, I called which, the which lady. Which, mind you, how, what, how long of a drive for you? Like <laughs> six and a half hours. Six, seven, yeah, like yeah, seven yeah, hours yeah, almost. Yeah. And, and <laughs> we show up there and the lady comes down and she's like, we don't. We don't see people like <laughs> this is not right yeah. Yeah. This we, we only ever have people on the phone. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, we don't. Yeah, we, we don't we, there's not even a check-in area yeah. for you to come in. And so this is our issue. This is what we're facing. Yeah. We're an adult day program. You know, we have a lot of seniors. We, I told the whole story. Yeah. Leaving that office within 30 minutes, we were approved. Wow. And that's wow. what you know, it takes yeah, persistence. I love, and dude, you I gotta love those be stories, bro. Those are the you got to do it. You got to do it. So we did it. We opened. We we moved overnight. Wow. So I, I picked up the phone. We got the letter in the e- yeah. in an email. We picked up the phone and said, we're moving overnight. <laughs> the whole staff <laughs> was ready. Right, right. We moved everything overnight, and we didn't tell our members. We did it on purpose. Right, Because yeah. they were all be like, oh, we're moving. Yeah, we yeah, had yeah, this whole yeah, hype. Yeah. We're moving. When are you moving? Right, right, whole year. Right, right. Hey, you're lying to us. <laughs> coming, you're lying to us. <laughs> so then uh, the next day, you just <laughs> take them to a different place? Like totally. <laughs> told the like family, Look, don't tell them. Don't yeah. tell them. <laughs> but we're gonna sh- they're going to show it. up at a new center. Yeah, I've never heard this story. This is awesome. They, they showed up. Yeah. Oh, man, you should have seen that their awesome. faces, yeah. right? Because yeah, yeah. they're coming from a cramped 2,000 square foot facility yeah. to a 10,000 square foot facility where they could literally, th- yeah. th- with uh, seven bathrooms. So this is a different one. They're in heaven, man. Yeah. They're in heaven. So man. now, yeah. obviously, the pandemic has definitely impacted sure. all of us and has impacted you too, has yeah. impacted me. And not just us, I mean, our members, right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, it just, it just, it just it shook up the whole world. Yeah. It's just, you know, in, 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 a, in a major way. Like, yeah, just major like, way. like from staffing to, you know, the, like, yeah, like memberships. And, 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 and I would say that it's impacted more our members in that they can't socialize. 100%. Yeah. Versus, you know, oh, the dude. disease itself oh, or the, the dude, condition uh, uh, itself. Because so, we have assisted living, right? So that entire time, there was an, we, were su- we were supposed to have all of our residents in their rooms, like on quarantine for like about a, there was about a seven month period. I could not stomach that. Wow. So I just said, screw that. I, like, you guys can come out. We'll just, you know, we'll stay in quarantine as a house. 
right? You know, like as as like all of our residents together will be in quarantine. You yeah. know, we won't let other you people won't come let in. Other people come but in. like, I'm like, I'm not gonna keep Mrs. Smith in her room. You and know, and you guys got guidance, dinner. right? For assisted living, you guys got yeah, some we had guidance that's from what the state. We had guidance, so they, had, they needed to be in the room. So twice, the health department came in, and they were playing. We were playing like games and activities with them in the in the, in the kitchen, and they caught us. <laughs> and, and then <laughs> and then we got in trouble, and they <laughs> and, and then they everyone had to go back in the rooms for like two weeks, and we had to like all you know, for the seniors. Had, uh, yeah. Oh, you did it yeah. all for them. I, but in my mind, I'm sitting there thinking, like, you don't understand. Like these you people don't. are dying in their rooms. Yeah, okay, they, they don't. they're they're dying in their rooms. Like so they need people. So know? for adult day, that there was no guidance yeah. you know, when the pandemic hit. Right. And we were reaching out because at that time I was already the, the chair for the uh, Florida Adult Daycare Association. Yeah. So I was reaching out to the state, and to the local agency, and say, look, we're not under, we're not assisted living. Well, what do we right. do? Right. Right. Oh, we have no guidance for you yeah. guys. Can yeah. can you type something up? Wow, wow. So th this is basically something I did yeah. for the state, and yeah. uh, literally, that guidance went out to all the adult day centers, and, and we sent it out on a blast. Right. Um, but you know, we didn't have any guidance. I mean, yeah. did you guys work force to close or no? No, no, no we weren't. Because right? like, a lot of the guidance for different things was like uh, kind of down to a local level. Local. You know, Miami um, Dade closed for three, right. three six months. Yeah. I think, so, yeah. so really, ours was more of like a. Uh, I sat there and I watched TV probably like every, like all day for like four <laughs> like three weeks straight, and then I checked that like world low meter thing like with all the counts and stats. You, le you left your bags outside. And <laughs> yeah, disinfected yeah. them. Right. <laughs> so like I was I just I didn't know what to expect, you yeah. know. And so we finally, um, you know, like when when we when like kind of this like I feel like a wave was coming literally, and we're like every day like people would call out and we're like all right, well maybe let's just let's just close it down and give it a few weeks and let's just see what happens, you know? Yeah. So we, we did a self-imposed six week Quarantine closure, you know? Yeah, 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 so. Yeah, and, 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 and that worked out for you? Yeah. It worked it out it for your members? Yeah. It was did it you was lose any during that time? Oh, no, we lost, oh, so we so when we cl when we closed, right? We had 98 people on our on roster. Census. Yeah, and um, and we had about an average daily census of around 45. And and um, when that happened, so yes, yeah, so long story short, then when, when we opened back up, we only had 48 people left. So like you literally entire sense, like in half 30 of that. percent of yeah, what you had. Yeah. The same thing happened to us. So our daily census was around 105 every day. Yeah. And our enrollment roster was like 225. So right. more or less we're in that boat. Yeah. When we opened, we had 25 wow. attending daily. Wow. Actually less. We had, I think it, we hit 18 and then we hit 25 on the next it's month. It's like you don't even know how to operate a business like that. It's like it's, it's like impossible. Yeah, 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 it's impossible. Yeah. That's when we reach out to Aka yeah. and with the whole petition of, of, of them giving us funds for three yeah. months because it's about the sustainability of the provider right, network, right? Right. Right. What 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 does the state of Florida do if we lose the network? Think yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. Y and you know the the cost, yeah. right? Oh, so let's talk about nursing homes. Like yeah. y y what's the cost of nursing homes? Yeah, it's like average. Two hundred fifty bucks a day, like you know, a yearly. Oh, wow. Uh, one twenty. Uh, yeah, one ten. Yeah, yeah, Florida, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. What's the cost of an adult daycare? Yeah, I mean, what seventy five or, or fifty if you're uh, so MCO. Twenty four a year, maybe oh, yeah, thirty yeah, yeah, yeah. a I think year. I think yeah, eighteen to twenty four, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So, so if twenty percent of the members that attend your daycare or yeah. my daycare yeah. end up in nursing homes, yeah. how much is that going to cost the state? Massive, massive. So this yeah. is things that we're tackling on the uh, yeah, FADSA so board. Like try to show that data set. We we know. have it. Yeah. We just got to get in front yeah. of somebody. Yeah. And you know the agency has been working with us a lot, so we're we're trying to get there. But we need more support from the members, right? Uh, like yourself, and I know you support us a lot. But yeah. a lot of the adult daycare centers in Florida need to sign on with the association yeah, yeah, we yeah, need to be yeah. together know, we, gotta, we gotta rally everyone yeah, we gotta sure, rally. You know? uh, and, and, and that's part of what this is about too is just trying to trying to just create awareness you know what i mean so and and i know we're, we're i'm getting i'm getting the, the <laughs> signal like, yeah. Jay's give me the we're, we're Jay's give me the, the wrap wrap, <laughs> wrap it up wrap it up o o oh yeah because I, I think like so if you saw like the, the, the light getting going darker down because of the light or the, the conversation <laughs> is getting darker <laughs> 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 So uh, guys, yeah, I, let's wrap uh, it up. Yeah. No, no, I, I, <laughs> dude, I, I really, I just, I love your story. I love your passion uh, for what you're doing, man. And, and I, you know, I know, I know we could go on forever about this. So uh, yeah, we we could be here for two yeah, hours for, a day for sure, day, for, for sure. sure. Going no, back and forth. And I but <laughs> yeah, 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 no, exactly. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. I'm out. But if you, if you guys, you know, if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, show some love. And uh, if you haven't already, check out, you know, you know, if you're in Florida or if you want to be involved. I mean, Yanni's a, just a great advocate both for the state of Florida, for the FADSA, and then also, you know, even at the NADSA level. So, uh, yeah, so, um, so you know, I'm so the chair for the marketing committee at NADSA now, and we're trying to uh, make sure that NADSA is inclusive of all languages. Right. Um, so bringing Love that it. new Love aspect it. to NADSA yeah, that yeah. we spoke about. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, and we need to get younger, too. You know, 100%. More, more, more active. 
Um, marketing is uh, something that that's lacking um, because not a lot of people know the adult daycare world. They don't know NADZA. They don't know FADZA. Right. So we definitely need your support, guys. I mean, if, if you own or operate an adult daycare and you're not part of the association, you're missing out. Yeah. Um, you're missing out on a lot of tools. You're missing out on a lot of revenue. But you're missing but out but on but revenue. But I also feel like you know, we need, like, you know, we need more people to just, e even just because at this, at this point in time, it doesn't have the ability to afford a staff. You know, so so we need more people so we can grow it, so we can get to a point where we can afford a staff f at, the, at the FADS level. For every business, and yeah. you got to think about associations as a business because yeah, yeah, that's the 100%, way they run. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You need an investment yeah, before yeah. you get the right. returns, right? Right, 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 exactly. So we need to invest know, as, know. as owners 100%. in the association in order to get returns. And, and those returns in the form of, like, government support, licensing, deregulation, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, 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 100%. I get it. You know, so, uh, no, I, I really we'll appreciate it. You know, we'll, we'll be we'll back. We'll definitely be we'll back. Be I know. Back. <laughs> we'll have a part two with Yanni. So uh, thank you guys so much for joining us. Make sure you are like it. Well, I already did that whole spiel. So. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, yeah. show some love, and uh, let's get back to work. See you all next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for making it this far. If you'd like to watch last week's episode, click here. If you'd like to watch more exciting content on senior care, click here. If you'd like to learn how to open up your own adult daycare, assisted living, or home care agency, click here, chrischana.com. This is for all those senior care entrepreneurs out there. And let's get back to work.